This video is going to show you how to remove the window trim moldings. You can see I originally did it with black plasti dip. I'm going to, uh, you can see I've got some damage there. So I'm going to take them off probably this weekend and redo them in vinyl. So this is how you remove each trim molding. Start with the rear. And uh, you can do it with your fingers. I recommend using a trim tool. Um, this is my broken trim tool, but it's the only one that's in my car right now, so I'm gonna use it. Anyways, all right. You're gonna go in between the rubber molding and the trim piece with your trim tool. Push up, it'll probably pop like that. Basically, you've got these metal tabs. And those metal tabs slide into these uh, slots in the rubber molding. So that's pretty much it for getting it off. You just pop it, putting it back on. Mine's a little bent, but it still goes. There it goes, pop, pop, come over, and those just pop into place. So it's actually quite simple. Um, you know, the more force you put into it, the faster it'll pop off, but uh, if you're popping it off to paint it or, or vinyl wrap it or something, that's not gonna matter anyways. All right, the rear door. These ones are gonna more, they, um, along the door, there's a piece of the door that runs the whole length and there's a groove on the molding that they slide into. So you can see right here, the camera's gonna be all weird, right there. So what you're gonna wanna do with your trim tool there's a better picture of it. So, right there is the ridge that the molding pops onto. So what you're gonna wanna do is stick your trim tool right up there in between the ridge and the tool and push up. And you're gonna need some force but you can see, once the trim starts separating, it's just a matter of pulling up, okay? No screws. Um, that's pretty much it. You can close the door. I'm doing this on my lunch break at work, so I have limited space to work with. Work along the molding, pulling up. It takes some force, don't be afraid to break it. There we go. And that's it. So there's the ridge that I was talking about. And then the groove in the molding. That the ridge slides into. To so put it back on, reverse steps. Do the front first so you can line up, you know, where the molding goes with the door and with the B-pillar trim. Push down. Then we get to the back. Push down. 
And all we're doing is pushing down. And that's it. Yeah, I definitely need to fix mine because it looks torn up. All right. Now for the front. Front design is the same. Put your trim tool in and push up. Uh, it takes some force, but it'll pop. And um, the front works the same way as the rear, so I won't go through taking the whole thing off and putting it back on. I found it easier to put the moldings back on with the door closed. Push down and you're good. On the front one, um, you do have to slide a little bit. Maybe I'll just go ahead and show. Since I had talked to somebody online about sliding, this is what I meant. So let's pop this. Hold on, I need two hands. Pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Now here, slides out, okay? So when you reinstall, you're gonna wanna put the front on, kinda lift up in the rear. Make sure the front is pushed down. Slide it into the mirror, okay? And then you can come back and push down on the molding. And that's it. Again, no screws, no clips to really even worry about except for the, uh, the metal clips on the rear piece. Once you get them off, they're easy to vinyl wrap. Like I said, I did Plasti Dip, and that was probably a year plus ago, so 20,000 miles later, I've got some rock chips and whatnot. But uh, I'm gonna try to get this video on YouTube. I've never done a YouTube video before, so hopefully this works. Um, if you have any questions, I guess comment below. Um, thanks for watching.